Hey everyone, uh, I'm gonna go through the updates in this version. Uh, let me go directly to the release history. So uh, the first five are related to SDF, modeling and um, materials, and also saving to uh, object files and some optimization here. I added the controls uh, sheet, which will help you with the shortcuts and navigation. Um, the UI is a bit more compact on the left side, as you will see, and I added some quick navigation inside the, the panels. So I'll start with the last few. Um, so yeah, the UI is a bit smaller. All the transforms were um, compacted under this button here. So if you just hold, you can then select one of them. Um, also, the buttons that I don't use that often were moved uh, in this panel, like the Oculus button that you just need to check before a VR session and then leave it as it is. Uh, the selection was moved here. Um, yeah, the other thing that uh, helps the navigation now is that for some of these groups, uh, not the tools one, but for these ones, this one, uh, if you right click on one of the headers, it will expand or co collapse all the headers in that group. Um, and let's say for um, uh, rendering options, you can quickly go to, let's say, background and modify the background, or you expand all and you go through all of the, the options. Uh, same for shaders, yeah. Uh, and same for the tools. If you want the SDFs only, you just uh, left click on right click on any of them and it will minimize all and then you just expand this one yeah so for the next part uh yeah the controls are here or you can call them up with uh, the i key and you can see the navigation um and yeah, the shortcuts that can uh, help you in uh, get a quicker workflow. Um, and finally, for the major update in this version, um, I added uh, an SDF scene here, um, which is a uh, common scene used in CSG. So you have this uh, sphere uh, that is intersected. Let me just start deleting these. So you have this sphere that is intersected with a cube. And then you have these cylinders passing through the uh, six faces. So it's the cylinder here that you can move around. I think I just ruined the scene. No, no, yeah. And the other two cylinders, on the other axis. Um, and the nice part now is that you can also voxelize this scene directly. This usually takes a while depending on the voxel resolution and you get the materials directly embedded in the mesh. Um, since I have a reasonable amount of vertices, I'm going to change this to clay so they, that it's easier to, to sculpt. And yeah, you can sculpt it like this. 
If I change to paint, I can also blend those materials. Um, but all of this is destructive uh, when the moment you voxelize, uh, it's destructive. And uh, there's also the um, SDF paint primitive, and this one you just go into parameters and change to paint. Uh, I can even let's go smooth and plastic, and then I'll place it here. And I can also select the, as you can see, there's some fall off, but you can also modify the paint fall off. In the case of the paint primitive, you don't see much difference between the geometric fall off and the paint fall off. But let's say if I switch to <coughs> um, an add primitive and I start changing the geometric fall off, you see this kind of shape forming here. But you can also change the paint fall off while leaving the geometry intact. And these will switch from zero, which is almost a sharp, uh, a steep change in material, to one, which is a smooth one. Yeah. So this is pretty much it for uh, this update. One thing I forgot to mention is that um, I added uh, simple optimization for uh, rendering, uh, which is especially good for uh, working with SDFs, uh, since they're really dependent on uh, resolution, on the screen resolution. Um, so if you click this button, the half size viewport, or uh, use shift left quote, this will render at half resolution and there's a reasonable speed up so from 80 frames per second here to 200 um, and yes yeah, you can see this is all created with uh, sdfs and it will make modeling with sdfs quite faster and then when you need to, to render it, you just um, switch back to full resolution and uh, continue from there.